the online dragons are making their way to the den, two multi-millionaires who will make or break the dreams of cash-hungry entrepreneurs. The Online Dragons are two of the UK's most successful business people who built up their own fortunes from scratch. Edinburgh-based Shaf Rasul has amassed his fortune of over 82 million with IT technology and a global property portfolio. American by birth but now living here, Julie Meyer made her millions as a venture capitalist with her investment firm specialising in media and technology. The Dragons are ready to back the right business with their own money, but only the best will succeed. The entrepreneurs can ask the online Dragons for up to £50,000. They must be offered the full amount if they're to walk away with the backing they need. Husband and wife team Carol and Neil Bailey are hoping to win the Dragons' backing for their take on environmentally friendly shopping bags, bags of life. Hello, my name is Carol Bailey. And my name is Neil Bailey. We're here today to present an exciting, unique combination of recyclable bags called Bags of Life. We're asking for £25,000 investment for 25% of our business. We'll use this in part to complete our UK patent and also protect in the US and international markets. I came across the concept of Bites of Life because um, it's important for everyone, I think, to appreciate recycling. And uh, I wanted to use uh, reusable uh, bags, but they simply weren't available in the way that I could use them. They weren't smart enough, and I always need more than one. So I came up with a concept where um, the bags fall flat and you can fit several into one. They're made out of uh, polypropylene inside that gives them a boxy rigidity when they're open. And so um, when they're loaded, like so, they're very easy to load. And they'll stand up when they're loaded. Once they're unloaded, the bottom, it simply pops back up. And then you can just slide all the bags straight back into the main bag, like so. The, the design is registered and also the UK patent is pending. We've had the first results of the UK uh, search and examination and the way is clear for the patent to be granted. Uh, a large supermarket chain has already shown an interest in them and they've asked us to come back with pricing for uh, a budget version with two bags uh, with larger capacity and also come back with pricing for them. I hope you like the Bags of Life. Thank you for listening, and we invite any questions. Can I take a quick look? It's a polished pitch from the duo, and they've succeeded in getting both dragons on their feet to inspect the bags themselves. Thank you. I get it. Yeah, fantastic. Good. Will the business model stand up to closer scrutiny? So just remind me what you're selling that the bags for life for? The, the, bags, the bags of life are available uh, as I, uh, in different, different guises. Right. Here, this is, this is a, a, a production, a prototype that Carol made herself. Yep. Uh, but it contains four bags with handle straps. Sure. And how much, if I wanted that, Neil, how much would I pay for An that? all-singing, all-dancing version that yep. we've costed currently um, yep. will be around about £15. Pounds. But we would expect something like that to retail for four bags at about £30. Where could I today buy that? You couldn't buy it anywhere at the moment. Nowhere? Nowhere. Is there a business which has been set up? <clears throat> we, we have a business called Bailey Moore. We, we, haven't, we haven't yet... Um, which is not trading Limited, yet. it's not trading, yet, no. no. The bag's profit margins sound lucrative, but there's no sales to support this potential. This has rung some alarm bells for Shaf Razul. How much money have you invested in the business? Our, our total investment at this moment in time is around about £2,000, plus a lot of Carol's time. OK, so you've invested £2,000 in this business. Um, do you realise what you've just valued the business at? 
who just value the business at £100,000, and I'm aware that I can't possibly stand here and justify that to you. OK, so why did you ask for that money? Is that just a giggle simply, factor? Or is that simply, just... simply because if, if, we, if we get the patent on that bag, it's, we have the worldwide opportunity for any multiple bags in bags that slide, and the market is absolutely vast. So I'm, invest, I'm investing in a hope value. I'm hoping you're going to get the patent. I, th- I would not sell that intellectual property for £100,000. Neil remains robust in the face of the interrogation, but it takes more than confidence to part the dragons from their cash. Carol, how many discussions have you had with a major um, supermarket chain? How many uh, different discussions have you had with them? With the one that we're talking yes. to at the moment, uh, about four. But four. Four different sit-down meetings? No. In person to person, we've had one, but um, we're coming back to them with prices. And at the and moment... What's the, what's the title of the, of the person that you're engaging with there? Assistant buyer. Mm-hmm. Okay. But he's working, he's passed it up the line and he's, uh, he's told us their plans um, on other bags and he wants and us how, to come back quickly. You, how did you get in touch with them? I phoned them up and asked them if I could go and meet them. From a Dragon's point of view, we, um, we, this is not something that Carol or I will be taking any money out of. Um, mm-hmm. I, I, have a, I have a way of earning money outside of this and it's, uh, I support Carol in it. Um, and certainly no investment, we wouldn't ask for any investment if we couldn't get the patent. Mm-hmm. That, that's clear from the start. We want, um, we want your help, not the £25,000. Carol seems to be making some headway with a major supermarket and her husband, Neil, is bending over backwards to sweeten the deal. Julie Meyer is ready to say where she stands. There are... Um, it's an early stage... Early stage business. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, fair enough. Every every business starts out somewhere, um, and uh, I think this is a nice to have. I, I see some nice to have features, but it doesn't have a kind of, you know, oh my god factor. It just doesn't it doesn't grab me that way. So I think given that the the patent, um, there's a question mark on that question mark on on many things. If I were you, I would have come with a much lower amount, much, much lower amount on both fronts. I, 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 hope, you, you, I hope you do well, but I, I, I don't think that's a, an investment opportunity that's attractive to me at this point. For that's those it. reasons, I'm out. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Razul was cynical from the start. It's left to him to have the final word. I genuinely do not believe you need an investor at all. You've done reasonably well. You've got a prototype. You've got a patent application. You're there, OK? You would need an investor if you had a huge order and whatever else, you had a patent. You're far too early to be looking for an investor. And on that basis, I'm afraid I'm out. OK. Right, thanks very much. Thank you. No worries. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Carol and Neil fail to win investment for their fledgling business and leave the den without the money they came for. What a nice couple. Mm. And they don't actually need an they don't need an investment. They just need somebody to bounce a few ideas off and where do we go to get these bags manufactured and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> How did it go from your side? I was watching that. We were on the edge of our seats in there. <laughs> we felt it went really well. I mean, we didn't get the money, but um, we still feel that we were given encouragement to continue, yeah, and that's what very we're much. going through. Yeah. Good. It, it is early stages, and we yeah. knew it was early stages, but um, yet again, uh, there's no negatives towards the bags. The patent's there to be taken, and, uh, and I think there was a compliment in there that we've, we've actually got where we are by ourselves, mm. and uh, there's no reason why we can't continue as we are. Some very kind comments from Chef and Julie as well. Right. They're not really dragons, are they? No, pussycats. <laughs> pussycats den, perhaps we should call it that. I think they've got the ability to be if they want to be. I think they can. I think they can turn the screw if they want to.